Here with uh, PowerCast, and uh, who are you? My name is Eric Beal. I'm a principal engineer with PowerCast. And uh, here you're showing a whole bunch of e-ink devices right here. Yep. These are, uh, what is this? These are some products we've developed. This one here is a product called Vicora. And like you said, there's e-ink screens in all of these. They're battery-powered products, but the advantage is they use our lifetime power technology. Mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> is it? Is it Break proof? Yes. yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Live test here. Yeah, so these are battery powered products and they use e ink screens. And the advantage here is with our lifetime power technology, and these will last for years on end. And the way this works is it pairs with an app that goes on your phone, whether it's iPhone or Android, and you can send images or text to this thing and hang it up as a picture or set as a picture on your. So your battery technology. What, what technology is in there that you do? So what's in here is what we call lifetime power technology. However, behind us you see wireless power, right? These are not wireless power. However, we've done wireless power for over 13 years. We've gotten pretty good at using that power efficiently. So we've spun off wireless power into these lifetime power products where we can get extremely long battery lifetimes in battery powered products. So much longer than other... Much longer, yes. Like this will work for several years off of one battery charge. Um, and that's where the advantage of the e-ink screens come in. Buy stable displays do not use power when you don't need to flash it. So many, many writes from the app to the screen with pictures and many years of lifetime. So that's so the how do you uh, save the power? Uh, is it like... Oh, well, it's that's always a little staying secret. Off? I can't tell you that. It's but mostly that's... off? It was mostly not using power. It's essentially being very efficient with the power you have and not using any more than you absolutely need to when you need to. So there's proprietary hardware and software that goes into these things to enable this long lifetime. So this uh, this is for this is a huge market. The, the labels, right? Yeah. It's so, very big. Uh, luggage tags, um, you know, factory settings where you're seeing if things have been done or not done, or consumers. Like this is an example. I think this is a cheese soup recipe. So if you've ever tried to cook using an iPad. All that ends up happening is you smear food all over your screen. It's annoying. But this, you write whatever you want to the screen, and now you have something that you don't have to worry about touching or getting dirty, and you have your recipe right there. So a nice. perfect example right there. And so PowerCast means wireless power. And uh, how does that work? Right. So like I said, here. we started as as with wireless power. Here. We've been doing wireless power for 13 years. As soon as you go so everything there, you're seeing on this table here does not have a battery in it. So, you see these candy canes here? In the center of the candy cane, that's our chipset, that's what we buy, or that's what we make, that's what we sell, and that's, those things take RF energy and efficiently convert it into DC. So, what you're seeing here is no batteries involved, the power is coming directly from an RF source, and there's we have three on the uh, table here. The one I'm holding is our 3 watt FCC approved transmitter. Here we have our 1 watt transmitter, much smaller version. Which one is powered by this one? This, these, every, it's all proximity based. So, this is not only just powering here, but it's also powering over here. Just like this one is not just powering here, it's also powering over here. So this, can we power this one off? We can power this one off, and you can see, so then we can see we're still getting power to these devices over here. They get power a little bit if you bring them closer yep. a bit. And if I move the transmitter closer or farther away, you get power. That's awesome. So how much use is there? Uh, how many products in the, in the market are using this technology? Uh, there's a lot. Uh, most of our products have been based in the uh, industrial sense. Uh, lots of RFID tags, uh, super tags, where you want to do an RFID tag, but you also want to sense something, temperature or light or humidity along with the tag. So these guys here are perfect examples of that. This is a product we developed. This has temperature, light, and humidity sensors built into it, and an RFID tag. And the beauty is there is no battery in this. So this is a completely passive super tag. It's doing super temperature. Tag. It's not a basic tag. It has more advanced features. Exactly. It has temperature sensing, humidity sensing, and light level sensing built into one tag without a battery, and that's the key. So any low power sensing application where maybe you're using a coin cell uh, is a perfect opportunity to replace that coin cell with our technology. So in but it only sensing while it gets near this one. Yes. So the, no that's the, the disadvantage there. here. And these will work up to 30 feet from an RFID reader. And these are all working at 915 megahertz. So that's a pretty far range. But you still might not always be in the presence of an RFID reader. So that's why we have something like this. So this guy is showing battery recharging. So every time you see this LED flash, we're putting a chunk of energy back into this rechargeable battery. So if you did have a tag or an application that had a coin cell on it and you wanted to recharge it, you can use our stuff to do that as well. You save the cost, you don't have to send someone around to change batteries. So that's sort of the advantage uh, and what PowerCast can do. And you have e-ink here? This, yeah, this, so this is a concept product we developed with e-ink. 
and we developed eInk's uh, development kit for them. But what you have here is an eInk screen, and what this is is basically a wireless price tag. So what happens is you use your uh, RFID reader, you say, I want my price to be $19.99.99. That data gets written into the memory of the RFID chip that's on board, and our circuitry is in here as well. So our circuitry takes the energy from the RFID reader, powers up a microcontroller, which grabs the data out of the tag and then writes the screen. And then the advantage of having the e ink screen is once it's written, it takes no power to maintain. So you can go hang this uh, on your shelf and it will maintain that state forever. You never have to re replace the battery. You don't have to send anyone around to do that. And if you wanted to re reset the price, you just bring it back to your RFID reader or use a handheld one and you can do it again. You just walk around the store. Re yeah, you punch in what you want your price tag to be, each, hit it with the RFID reader, done. Each, I, each tag has an ID. Each so tag has an ID. Point yep. to anyone, you just Standard RFID tag, just like any other one. The only advantage is now you have higher functionality with it. All right.